What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and I'm bringing you uh, something a little bit different here. It's, as you could probably see, this is the same setup I used in How to Get a Pavel Every Game. And I mentioned briefly in that video of uh, some of the struggles I went through <laughs> in my process of getting the Pavelo and how I just kept getting so unlucky. So I think I was going to make a short series out of it. Uh, it. It'll be small games like this, it's about 5 minutes, not the full game. Uh, just the main events that took place on my way to getting a Pavel. And uh, you'll see there's all sorts of different things that went on that stopped me from getting it. And I thought I would throw a small little commentary over it as well just to keep you uh, entertained. Um, I, I can also give you tips because what I'm doing isn't bad. It's just I get unlucky in the end. Um, so I'm using the same setup as I was before. Uh, it's a very good setup. It's good for long range. And as you can see, I'm basically just standing here head glitching the crap out of him. Uh, there is some head glitching, especially on maps like this, uh, and it's something you want to take advantage of as much as you can. And uh, I know exactly where to be because I see that we have the A flag, and they have B and C. So I know they're going to be spawning somewhere far far away from me, more towards in between B and C, because I happen to know there's an active spawn. And there's because of the way I'm trying to, I was trying to set up the gameplay, which was something that's sort of easy to do. Uh, can be redone often, and uh, anyone can really do it. I I've sort of sat back, just sort of picked people off at range, kept it slow, didn't rush around, and um, it's something I it's something I can do a lot. But I was just having an off night. Um, so yeah, you want to take advantage of that domination. As I mentioned before, is a great place to do it, and I freaked out with that Predator missile. That would have been the first step, but um. Yeah, so Domination is a great place because you can pick up flag captures on the way, and uh, it, it's a nice, easy point there. So uh, a, a person commented on my last video saying they use Hardline, and Hardline is another way to do this. Uh, you start off, you in Domination, you grab a flag, and then it's three kills to a Predator missile, which is really easy to do. Anyone can do that. And from there, all you need to do afterwards most of the time is pick up two kills after that, which is basically the equivalent of a five kill streak in total. So that's another way of doing it. I think the assassin is easier, and that's why I used it. But again, you can see I'm just I ended up capturing the position. Now they only have one, so now I pushed up and I can just head glitch them up until I get a high enough kill streak. And um, you'll see I continuously push forward, and uh, as as I watch the spawn slip and as people move around, and I, I'm I'm constantly taking into into mind where my teammates are. And as you can see, almost all of them to the right. But uh, I just watched a few of them die, so uh, I know that's where they're. What, that's where the enemy team is going to be as I pick up my predator missile with a flag cap, not even a kill. Um, so there is the domination again. But I call in the predator missile. I think I get two kills. I'm not positive. Yeah, two kills. So uh, now I'm like, okay, so everything is working out. I got my two kills, and then they call in a straight run, and I'm just hiding from it. I'm doing whatever it takes to not get killed. Because uh, this was one of the later games in the series, and I, I was pretty frustrated at this point. So I was playing super defensive. I was making sure I wasn't dying. I was checking my corners. I was doing everything I needed. And I'm only two kills away, so I, I really don't want to lose it here. And by two kills, I mean two kills from the Reaper, which inevitably gets you a payload. But... Um, so yeah, I'm just at this point. I'm just waiting for the straight front to run over. It's not worth putting your tr trying to sprint for indoors. You just want to take whatever you can. And I come up to the patio, and the patio is a great place to be. You you get a lot of cover. You see a lot of places. It's it covers quite a few areas of traffic. You can see C flag, you can see B flag. It's pretty much a power position. And uh, boom, right there. Pick up my nine kill streak for the Reaper and EMP. They called it an EMP as I pick up the Reaper. And at this point, I'm like, okay, what do I do now? Um, luckily, I have the Assassin on, so I still, I'm not useless. But I, I had forgotten, <laughs> that's why I pick up the Java Missile, and as you see, it doesn't lock on. Sorry about that. But, um, so I eventually figured that out, and I die. And I, I was so pissed off. It, it's like, really, the timing is just terrible. There's no counter to EMP. I mean, obviously, obviously, I have all my HUD and whatnot, and my red dot. But I still can't use my kill streaks, and I got pretty much robbed of my uh, Pavo right there. Um, so now I'm like, all right, I need to start again. So I run out. I'm a little bit more rushy now. I'm still trying to find uh, when I can call my Reaper, and um, and yeah, you'll see. I pretty much build it from there. I do call the Reaper, 
I'm actually gonna skip through it because there's nothing, this is not about a big game or anything. This is more about general frustration, but also some tips. So I'm gonna cut it out right there. So I finished the Reaper and I realized I still haven't died, I still have a few points. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can do it again. Maybe I can get lucky. Maybe I can pick up the Pavlo, be done with this, stop working for it, and uh, maybe everything will go right. So I turn the corner, boom, spread down one. Boom, pick up two, boom, get kicked in the back. And I uh, inevitably ended up quitting after the Predator missile, but... Well, that's the end of the gameplay. If you enjoyed this, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next commentary.